very tightly surrounding the central point. So um, search radius, and then we need um, name, which is a string, and then we could have a couple other parameters like sorted, which is a boolean, um, and maybe like if we paginate it, then we could also have a page token, um, which is a string. So that's our search, um, and that's our search interface. So now that we have a search interface, every time we know like what we have to work with in the back end, now we can start defining the implementation and sort of the algorithm approach to all this. So this is sort of the brainstorming section of the system design interview. Here you would look at the problem and propose multiple ways of solving it. So let's go back to the world map and think about how we can divide up these data points. Let's say you had like a data point all over the world. And then um, one way that you can approach this is using a linear scan. You could use a SQL query followed by a linear scan. And then um, if the central, if the point being tested is greater than the radius of this uh, of the search uh, greater than the search radius, then it would remove it from the return returnable set. Otherwise, we'd keep it. Um, so what I mean by that is, let's say we had a record here, a record here, a record here. We would go through each one and test it using this Euclidean distance calculation. Um, make this a little smaller. We could test it using this Euclidean distance calculation. If it does belong within the radius, we would keep it. Otherwise, we would remove it. Technical difficulties. Otherwise, we would remove it. Um, and then once we're done, we would go to the next record and follow that logic until we get to the end. So that's how we'd sort of decide um, the returning set, and this would be an, o of an operation, mean, n being every data point would need to be tested in order for it to be, um, in order for the, the, the search to be complete with the correct results. So that is not optimal because of 500,000 data points and scanning 620 meg megabyte records every time just isn't feasible for how many queries we will be um, doing per second. So we need to come up with a better approach. So if we go back to the map, we can create a grid out of this map. Another way we can do this is using a quadtree structure that indexes a certain radius um, and then does a, doesn't isolate a search of all the restaurants in that location. So for example, let's take this map. We can split it up into a X, X by Y grid and then for a particular search, we can decide which quadrant it belongs to and then search for the restaurants in that quadrant. So let's draw out exactly what's going on. So let's say, like, if you're not familiar with quadtrees, um, a quadtree is a, um, is a tree with four children. Um, and every node has four children. So, um, Let's say we have a tree like this. Every, um, the parent would have four children similar to this. And then the way we would structure this quadtree is that um, the parent would have four quadrants Um, the quadrants would be equal, but this is not drawn um, precisely. So let's move this here. There we go. So this would be quadrant one, two, three, and four. This would correspond to one, two, three, and four. And then when you are radius searching, you would look at what longitude and latitude 
the it what quadrant the longitude and latitude belongs to, you go to the child, and then the child would continue searching recursively down until it finds a, the last leaf node where the radius, um, this the center point belongs, um, and then it would search every one, every leaf that the um, that the longitude and latitude belong in. Um, as well, in addition to the search radius, and then that would be a regionalized search so that you don't have to go through all the records. So what would that look like is if you have, for example, like a longitude latitude of 40.210 and then um, 80.969, uh, then if it belongs in the first quadrant, it would go to the, the child in the first quadrant, and then it would continue recursing down, this, this query would continue recursing down until it reaches the leaf, um, and then it would search for all the leaves that um, belong, that, that contain points between in this, in this latitude and longitude with the search radius. So we can use, um, this would be our second implementation, which is a quad tree index. And this would be faster because now it's in log base four um, of n, which is going to increase at a much slower rate than O of n. And it's much faster because of that. So this is the algorithm of how we are going to index the server or index the data points. And let's say that the final value of this index is going to be an ID, which is four bytes, a latitude, a lot latitude, which is eight bytes, and a longitude, which is eight bytes. Sweet. So now we have this sort of final index value. And we can finally go ahead and start drawing out what the system looks like. So once we get to the step, we sort of have to define um, how big the index is, as well as how we're going to store the data. So we have the values for the index, and now we know it's 20 bytes, which times 500,000 comes out to 10 million bytes, which comes out to 9.5 megabytes. So this is easily stored in one server. Um, because we're going to be, a, it's going to be a tier one service with 100k queries per second, we can't rely on one server. We need to have some sort of redundancy. So we need to be able to copy this index to multiple servers. So let's go ahead and start defining a quad tree index. Um, and then we would want to have multiple versions to ensure redundancy. And then we would also reference a database, which contains the final values of all the records, the 620 megabytes we just defined before. And every quad tree index would be able to get the final value from the database. Followed by that, we also need to have a actor. So the actor is sort of the cut, uh, the user that's hitting this API, and then we would need to have multiple API servers because we define this as a tier one service. We need to have maximum redundancy. Um, and then, so we can reduce the amount of travel time and have the Quadtree index be deployed at the same uh, server as the API gateway. Therefore, every API gateway is connected to a Quadtree index on the same computer. Um, and then we need, since we are using uh, multiple hosts, we need to have some sort of routing server that routes it to the API gateway that has the least amount of load. And the least amount of load could be defined as disk usage, memory, and um, CPU. And what we basically defined is a load balancer. 
So the load balancer will consistently ping all the API 